We can keep his promise. So what brings you out here today? I want him to keep his promise, the $200 a month promise that he, he made when he became president. And he never kept it. And we're hurt. You know, we live off of looking a prayer. And if I cut back anymore, I'm going to be grazing in the grass. I'm telling you. If you got to speak to him personally, what would be a message that you want him to have? I want him to keep his promise for the seniors, the disability, the vets, all of us, Social Security, the $200 a month raise. We're, you just can't make it on what we have. And we worked all of our lives, most of us. I was a teacher for 20 something years. I paid a lot of taxes and I, I uh, kept a lot of neighborhoods safe So because I work with special children. So that's my message. Come on, Biden. You, you. can do it now. He snuck out of here. Okay. Okay, drives by. <laughs> yeah, I got it. tricked you up. <laughs> brings you out? Uh, I was going to see if I could see President Biden, but I couldn't see him. And I saw these uh, Iranian freedom supporters, so I decided to join in. Even though I'm not an Iranian, I'm, I know that it's right to the, uh, support freedom uh, anywhere. And if you got to, a chance to speak with Biden, what would you tell him? What's your message? Uh, first of all, my original message was to thank him for the support he gave Puerto Rico during Hurricane Fiona. And then I'd, I'd add on that uh, it's essential that Iran gets its freedom. It's been uh, in prison since 1979, so it should get its freedom. And how do you feel about all the Trump supporters that are out here? What do you think about that? 
I mean, everyone has uh, their reasons to support Trump or whoever they support, so, but it's good that we have been exercising our First Amendment rights without any fights or anything. And let me get one more shot of your sign. Thank you so much, man. Have a great day. Her son designed it. It's beautiful. I like it a lot. Yeah, I love it too. Do you guys have any message? This is independent media. Yes, yes, we do. We want to free Iran. We want to free Iran. We're looking forward to the day the women can live in freedom. And uh, we have been waiting for this day for a long time. And the uh, women in Iran have been under the uh, hijab rule for a long time, over 150 years. It was okay for a while under the Shah. They need their freedom back. So we're happy to see the support from all over the world, you know, and uh, we're just here to do what we can. And what does it feel like to have so much support? There's a lot of support here today. What does it feel we're like? We're so proud of them. You know, we want this to continue. We're going to be protesting tomorrow in Laguna Hills, next week by Disneyland. So this is going to go on. Awesome. And let me get one more shot of the sign. Thank you. Do you have any message that you want to give to me? Well, um, well, all of us actually, we are gathering here to um, to reflect our voice to Mr. President Biden, to ask him no deal with Iran, and uh, just pay more attention, and um, please listen to women's voice in Iran. We need regime change in Iran. Thank you. What does it feel like to see all this support? How does it feel? Well, um, I think um, uh, most Many Iranian here, Orange County, in LA County, and San Diego County, they gathered here, and um, they are supporting very well. This is not just one day. Uh, tomorrow there will be another. There will be another demonstration in San Diego and LA as well, and all over the United States and Europe and many other countries as well. We have lots of support in abroad. We have uh, lots of voices from um, dignities from from even some presidents. We need more action from President Biden. Technically, I believe Biden shouldn't support the regime, the dictator regime, okay? So, this is not right. Under the table, they do some things, but they don't support Iranian speakers, okay? So please, let's have the news. At least this guy, he should know about the problem in Iran, the freedom. You know, everywhere in the whole world, you know, you see that. Please send it. They should support all the women on the women's right in the United States, everywhere. They should support Iranian women. Iranians. This is a new revolution. Nowhere happened in the whole world, but that's right now, everywhere in the world. So, he should, he should support, absolutely. <laughs>
See how far down the block it goes. Say her name, Maso Amini. Thank you so much. I'm impressed with the support. freedom of Iranian people, women, children, they're getting brutally uh, killed from the mortality police. All they want is democracy, they want freedom, they want future, they want education, they want good living. They don't have any of that. So that's the main reason. And show me the sign one more time. And this six-year-old kid got killed in the demonstration. Thank you so much. Uh, where there are you from? No deal this, this regime of Iran, this terrorism of Iran, this is the supporter terrorism, all of the world. This regime is harmful for all of the world. Not for Iran, for all of the world is harmful. No pain, money to Iran. No pain, yes, yes, it's not good. Do you guys have a, a message for President Biden? 
Yes, we want to tell Mr. Biden that please do not pay money to these people. Do not uh, pay randoms to these people. Do not do sanctions because sanctions have been doing for 43 years and that has been harming the people of Iran, not the government. The government is stealing from the people. So no sanctions. Just we want the re this government to get away from us. We want our freedom and that's it what we want. Thank you. This guy is Mr. Khabari. He was the head of Iranian National Bank. He stole three billion dollars and ran to Canada. He lives in Canada. He was seen in Irvine Spectrum walking freely. I am asking President Biden that shame on you. Shame on him. Shame on him. He, he shouldn't allow the, the thieves and criminals to come to this country. And there are many of them. Mullahs should not be here. Thank you. And uh, speak to me just a little bit about women's rights. What does that mean to you? Women's rights. Women's rights. Persian women have been under suppression for a long time, for 40 years. They are against uh, women and they, they are forcing them to, to wear hijab, to cover themselves. They cannot ride bicycle. They, they cannot, they cannot, uh, uh, I don't know what to say, they cannot work, uh, they can, I mean, a lot of restriction on the woman. They don't have freedom. Every woman you see in Iran is against this mullah. 99% of the people are against mullah. I don't know how they are ruling the country. Without the help of America, Biden, they are not. Biden is friendly with Raisi. Biden is friendly with Mullahs because, yeah. of, because of oil. Yeah, Biden, people think that Biden is helping a rep, uh, Islamic Republic. And I believe it's right because if, uh, they are nothing. They are nothing. They are in power because of the support of British and America. Probably France too. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.
تمام اینا همه میخوام همه میخوام اینو بگی قسم به خون سینا کرس و تمام اینا شعارهایی که روی خیابونای ایران گفته میشه رو الان اعلام کنیم و ما بگیم که ما هم اینجا مثل شما شا... مثل شما ها شعار میدیم انگلیسی ش... شعار دادیم میخوام چند تا شعار بشنوند بچه های ایران تمام ملت ایران از کردستان تا تهران جانم فدای ایران Thank you so much. Do you have any message for President Biden? Something needs to change. 